What's up you guys, welcome back. So we're gonna do another uh, reaction video for you guys. And we have the Suicide Squad pitch meeting. These ones are always so funny. And for those who've seen the Suicide Squad, uh, it was a good movie. I loved it a lot, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I know it's it's kind of like down the middle. A lot of people were just like, it's stupid. And a lot of people were just like, it's amazing. So for me, I'm one of those people that loves it. And when you ever did um, Screen Rant does the pitch meetings, they're hilarious. Um, especially uh, after you see the movie that they're doing the pitch meeting about, because a lot of the jokes are inside jokes regarding the movie. So let's go and jump right into it. So you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. So you remember Suicide Squad from 2016? Oh, yeah, that movie that I hired people to kind of chop up, and then everybody blamed the director for how much they hated it. That's the one. So I was thinking we make another one, but we add the to the title. Oh, that has a nice ring to it, actually. Right. Yeah, 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 Suicide Squad, the. No. Oh, you want to put it at the beginning? <laughs> yeah, that's good, too. Great. So is this like a sequel or a reboot or a soft reboot? Yes. Fantastic. Yeah, we're going to take some of the characters Characters from the first movie played by the same actors. Oh, very fun, and some new ones too. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of new characters. There's gonna be one named Blackguard, and I thought we could get Pete Davidson to play him. People love Pete Davidson, that's gonna be a fun character. And his face is gonna explode almost immediately. Oh my god. I also thought we could get Nathan Fillion in crazy. here. Oh now he's great, what's he gonna do? Die almost immediately? Okay, wow. Michael Rooker, he'd be great to play one of these guys. To do what? Die almost immediately. Okay, what is happening? We'll see Sir, there's gonna be a whole Suicide Squad team at the beginning of the movie that just kind of gets wiped out as a distraction. Okay, so like lesser known characters, and then you'll have more known characters in the movie too, like no. Captain Boomerang. Yeah, he's in the movie. So what's he gonna do? Die almost immediately. Oh my god, okay, does anyone not die immediately? Is the movie five minutes long? Well, we want to start the movie by sending the message that anyone can die at any time, right? Ah, that's just like in real life. Yeah, so anyway, out of that first team, there's Rick Flagg and Harley Quinn that make it out alive. And what about on the main team? Who do we have on there? Well, there's this one guy, right? And he's like an amazing shooter, and he's like a reluctant leader, and his main motivation is his daughter. Yeah, Deadshot. I know Deadshot. He was in the last movie. Nope, this is a guy called Bloodsport. Oh. Okay. And there's this other predatory <laughs> animal character that eats humans. Killer Croc. Yeah, I know. No, this is King Shark. Ah, I should stop trying to predict things, I guess. You're not particularly good at it, sir. And we also have this other character who shoots polka dots and another one who controls rats. Uh, working for pest control is tight. No, her name is Ratcatcher 2 and she can, like, control rats with her mind. And then there's Peacemaker, who's like Bloodsport, except he murders in the name of Peace. Who were you thinking for that role? Uh, I was thinking maybe John Cena. Oh, you know what? I can't see him in that role. <laughs> so stupid. Because of his catchphrase. I understand the joke, I, yeah. sir. I just hate it. That's fair. So anyway, pretty much all these characters have sad backstories. Oh, okay. So I imagine they're each going to have a tattoo on their forehead explaining that. No. What? Then how will people know? Well, once in a while, one of them will stop and explain their past to the other characters, which I think you'll agree is a little more subtle. <laughs> I guess. And so, yeah, Amanda Waller implants bombs into all these people's necks, which is the whole premise of the thing. Sure. And so she sends them all to this island laboratory to destroy this experiment called Project Starfish. Cena so what kind of stuff does the squad get up to on this island? Oh, well, first of all, they need to go save Rick Flagg because it seems like he's been captured. Okay. So Peacemaker and Bloodsport, they have this kind of competition where they go through this camp and just kill people in horrific ways, just extremely bloody and graphic. Oh, so we're like talking like an R rating. Here. Yeah, because this way we get to see some brains and spinal yeah. cords and say stuff like 69 and splooge. 69? That's the funny number. Yeah, it is. And the other stuff is gross. Yeah, it is. Very fun. So they eventually reach this tent that Rick Flagg is in, and it turns out the camp was full of good guys. He wasn't even captured. Oh, uh, whoops. Whoopsie. And so Rick Flagg didn't hear any of the commotion? No, he didn't hear the people screaming or exploding or the guard tower collapsing right next to him. How did he not hear any of that? Well, he was in a tent. Oh, tent are known for being sound yeah. carry on. And so we're also going to meet up with Harley Quinn. And what's she up to? Well, see, since she's the That's most so popular funny. I didn't even think about that. I figured she should get anything. her own solo movie. Well, she already got her own movie. Yeah, well, she's going to get another one inside of this one. That makes sense. So she has this whole big side quest and even a love interest, and she ends up being captured by these military people, and she's being tortured for info. Oh, that's painful. It sure is, sir. But then she pretends to be unconscious, and so she strangles this guy with her legs when his back is turned. Well, we'll 
thank God he took a break with his back turn while still within her reach, or that plan wouldn't have worked at all. It worked out pretty great, so then she takes out a whole bunch of military guys with, like, crazy martial arts and stuff. Harley Quinn is better at hand-to-hand -hand combat than a full squad of trained military people. I yes, had no that further same question. So eventually they get their hands on this bad guy called The Thinker, who's been running the Starfish experiment for, like, 30 years. Okay. And so obviously that's gonna lead into, like, the third act where they have a big situation to deal with. Oh, I see where you're going with this. So what color is the sky beam gonna be? Actually, I was kind of thinking maybe we don't do a sky beam. Well, we usually do a sky beam. Yeah, but I was thinking we could do more of like a giant hive mind starfish from outer space getting eaten by millions of rats and one of the main characters pierces its eye with a javelin and all the rats go in there. <laughs> We usually do a sky beam, Yeah, though. the sky yeah, beam was stupid, though. Okay. So anyway, it turns out that Amanda Waller told Peacemaker to get this hard drive that proves that the government has been funding so much better the old than this starfish movie. thing. Oh. But Rick Flagg doesn't think that's very nice, so they get in a fight, and Peacemaker kills this Rick Flagg. This was intense. Very rude. And then Ratcatcher 2 gets the hard drive, so Peacemaker wants to kill her. Yeah, it's gonna be hard for her to get out of that situation. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yes, because of an explosion, Bloodsport's gonna fall through multiple stories stories in a building and land in the exact spot he needs to be in to save the day without injury. Oh, that is convenient. It sure is, sir. Then we're gonna have a scene where King Shark falls from a building and gets shot point blank with a bunch of machine guns, but his skin's so tough it doesn't hurt him at all. Very cool. How'd they inject the bomb into his neck? Unclear. And so this explosion is also gonna set this giant hive mind starfish free. Uh-oh. And so this thing shoots out little starfish that attach to people's faces. And that's how it does its hive mind thing. Exactly. So I guess the good guys need to keep their faces covered for the whole fight, huh? No, they just do it like once each and that does the trick. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, cause see, we're gonna wanna see their faces so these little starfish just kinda stop going for them after a bit. Wow, okay, so this hive mind is kind of a big moral yeah. dilemma to tackle, huh? Like, do you kill these people that are innocent but they're being mind controlled by an alien? Oh no, we're gonna have a little line explaining that they're corpses under the starfish, so they're already dead. Oh, okay, thank God. So we don't have a sky beam, but we do have a faceless, soulless army. Well, we gotta do some of the classics. Yeah, we do. So then Ratcatcher 2 summons millions of rats to attack this starfish. Seems like maybe she could have solved a lot of the movie's problems all on her own. Yeah, well, this is the climax of the movie, so this is really when they use the full extent of their powers. That's fair. And so, yeah, then Harley Quinn pierces the eye of the giant starfish with Ugh. a javelin, and that takes care of that. And so they hadn't fired bullets at the giant starfish eye? They did, but only the javelin does any damage. Well, okay, then. And so then as Starro is dying, he's like, I was happy floating in space. I don't space, like how they're poking holes in the this. Stars. Hey, excuse me, did you just make me feel bad for a giant alien starfish with a single line? I did. Wow, 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 wow. And so, yeah, that's about it. What do you think? Well, it sounds like a lot of fun, you know? I think it's gonna perform great at the box office. Me too, sir. So long as there's not some kind of seemingly unending worldwide event that causes hesitancy in people going to the theaters and also completely changes the way we release movies to streaming. Why would you say that? Hey, everybody, yeah. Ryan. It's, it, yeah, which sucks. It was a, it was a good movie. It's a fun movie, but it, it's like a bittersweet thing with the whole movie thing because one, it's not packed at all, uh, with the exception of one. If you go to like a mall movie theater, then it's like packed. I had to aim to go the couple times that I've been. I had to aim to go earlier in the day, um, or like later at night, uh, just because people still just don't care. And uh, for me, I'm uncomfortable in crowds. Right now, and I'm uncomfortable in crowds inside closed buildings. So, uh, but it was a it was a good movie, nonetheless. I I loved it. Um, I thought it was funny. I thought it was action packed. Uh, John Cena was amazing in it. I thought, and you know, you have Idris Elba and everyone else in there who are amazing actors. So, uh, so yeah, uh, you know, Screen Rant. This is this is pretty good. I I I forget how much I hate watching it because they just poke holes in the logic of the movie, and I'm just like, oh yeah. Well, that's that is stupid or oh that doesn't make any much sense either um to be fair to be fair in the comments i believe they give uh king shark a belt that explodes so maybe that was maybe he had on a belt i don't know i have to go back and check but maybe he had something that explodes on him that he can't take off that they put on him um because he can't get through his skin so that's that's one that i proved wrong that's just one but everything else i'm like damn it that that is stupid uh, what do you guys, guys enjoy my reaction to this? Let me know down below in the comment section by hitting that like button, please. Hit the like button. It helps your boy out. Um, and subscribe, please. Obviously, that helps your boy out as well. And again, um, as I mentioned in my other videos, I'm going to try to see if I'm going to do a Patreon. Uh, a lot of my videos that I has uh, 
music tracks in them, obviously the music videos, performances. Um, a lot of trailers now are just getting blocked or like copyrighted or, you know, and I'm trying to avoid all the drama um, now while I'm beginning, you know, my uh, YouTube life cycle. So uh, I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. I might do an intro to this video um, explaining where you can find me at. So we'll see. I'm going to do more research, but we'll see. All right, guys, if you guys um, enjoyed it, again, hit the like button, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.